Hello friends welcome back to my channel. In the woods Rick is keeping a big secret. And secrets can't be kept in a safe forever, and this is especially true in Blue Valley. Rick Tyler will have to admit that he's been concealing Solomon Grundy all this time in the upcoming episode of the CW Stargirl. Our man and the member of the Injustice Society of America clashed several times during the freshman season, with the youthful superhero ultimately defeating the Beast. While Solomon did murder Rick's parents, he finally opted to spare the villain's life and banish him to the woods, where he continued to feed him and began to sympathize with the creature's loneliness. Solomon has been referenced a few times in the second season, but his most recent on-screen appearance if we don't count the hallucinatory painting depicting him from episode 5 of the current run, dates back to the season 1 finale. If the former Issa member has changed, only time will tell. As you can see from the trailer, Grundy becomes a target for hunters, but he may also be responsible for someone's death, something Rick doesn't seem to like. Beth is also the focus of Eclipso's next plot, which isn't seen in the teaser. While things aren't looking good for Grundy, with Eclipso on the hunt for Beth, things may rapidly get terrifying. The villain is a very intimate figure who has no qualms about twisting someone's greatest suffering for selfish gain. Things in Blue Valley took a turn for the worse in the last episode when following a clash between Cindy Berman's Injustice Society and Courtney Whitmore Stargirl's Justice Society of America, not only was Isaac Bowen killed and it appears that Cindy was as well, but Eclipso was set free from the Black Diamond. This indicates the terrifying dark monster has broken out into the actual world, and halting it will be difficult. However, things are only going to grow more difficult as the JSA faces its own problems. Anyways, let's also look at the synopsis of episode 8. It says, Second chances, with his world crashing down around him, Rick focuses his attention on protecting Solomon Grundy after learning hunters are after a bear in the woods. Meanwhile, Beth becomes the target of Eclipso's latest plan. Breck Bassinger, Luke Wilson, Amy Smart, and Trey Romano also star. Andy Armaganian directed the episode written by Steve Harper. While talking about Eclipso, series creator Jeff Johns had said that Eclipso is pretty formidable and all about darkness, which is great to go up against somebody who is all about light, like Courtney and the Justice Society. There's these colliding ideologies and powers and drives that really help generate strong emotional stories, that challenge each of our characters individually. They each go through something that is really personal to them. That's what Eclipso does best. He makes things very personal. He turns over rocks that you might not want him to turn over. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.